All right, Rune Old Waslib. You ready? Let's do this thing. Hey, brother! And welcome, everyone, to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the internet's hardest Ron and Hermione quiz. I'm very curious if this is like Ron and Hermione hard stop. You know, like like these two characters, anything about them, nothing right. to do with one another, or if it's like, like Ron and Hermione moments. Right, like, like not me, not Hermione. <laughs> You! You! I guess that's not even, I don't know. That that wouldn't work here that's at like all. That's like a three, it's like a trio. I just wanted to say that. I, I completely understand. I completely understand. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly nervous for the, because I'm coming off a win streak. <laughs> of one. Of one. Yeah. It's pretty big for me. Pretty big. It's unprecedented. Right. Um, And so my, my, my worry here is that Ron and Hermione is about as wide open as it gets. Like, it could be anything. Short of just like Harry. Yeah. Although the thing is, is that like Harry might not be hard because he's the main character. So right. you know a lot about him. You spend a lot of time with Harry. Right. Yeah. It's it's the Agatha Tims of the world that you gotta worry about. You do have to worry about them. Anyway, let's dive on in. Guys, if you love Jay versus Ben, you may also love our podcast, Popcorn Culture. Yeah, you can check it out wherever pods are cast. It's really great. You can listen to me, the one true host, Jazzy J, talk to my brother Ben, no, no, who's in every no, episode. No, if you want to see me win in every episode, well, the one true host. Link in the description down below. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our community wizard cat is on the other end of the microphone. She's waving, but you can't see her. She's going to be reading us today's 10 quiz questions plus five additional questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if we have no idea what the answer is at all and we both agree, then we can get some multiple choice. If you'd like to take the quiz along with us, you can do so by following the link in the description down below. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! I heard you. Let's go. Question one. What did Hermione compare Ron's emotional range to? Oh, man. When? I mean, which time? Am I, I right? It feels like this would have happened. You have the emotional range of a... Of a blank. Of a, uh, do, you, do you have it? Um, no. Not in particular. I have a guess of a... I mean, I would go multiple choice. This I would go, I would like, go yeah. multiple choice on Q1. Yeah. On wow. Q1. Okay. You know, there's no reason. What we're really doing is we are allowing Kat an opportunity to warm up her vocal cords. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So this is for Kat. Much yeah, exactly. exactly. Everybody, big shout out for Kat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. A, a plate. B, a teaspoon. C, a mug. D, a fork. Wow. Wow. A, so a, my guess of a two year old was really, <laughs> really incorrect. My, my first thought was a dung bomb. A dung bomb. Um, yeah, so. Okay. Okay, well, then I have, an, I have a guess. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. I said a teaspoon. I also said teaspoon. That is correct. Yes! Oh. Yeah, I think it's when um, it's right after Cho. Uh, and Harry kiss, and she's explaining all Cho's emotions. Uh, she says, Just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon, Ronald, or something like Ronald. that. Ronald. None of those other things seem like they had any range, and at least a teaspoon has like it's like a <laughs> measurement. It is a measurement. Yeah, you, yeah. That's that. That I felt like that tipped the scale for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. but I totally would have thought like troll. Yeah, I like, was thinking like a living being. Yeah, yeah. Or or even like more of like a wizarding. Object like, yeah. a, like a quaffle, not a teaspoon. You, you have the emotional range of a quaffle. Quaffles have a diverse emotional. I mean, they have weird shapes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So if anything, like they're like, mm -hmm. they don't like being thrown around. Do you think the way the quaffle is in the movie is how it was intentionally envisioned? Like, because it's only described as like a big red ball. I always just sort of mag imagined it closer to like a, like a, like a. Like a basketball meets like a dodgeball, like not as soft as a dodgeball. Right, sure. But like- But like that material, but as stiff as a basketball. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah not like a volleyball that got punched in like several spots permanently. It's just sort of like a flat volleyball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just needs to fill that thing up. Yeah. But who can ever find the needle? <laughs> Fact. That's I feel like they could just blow it up with magic though. Well, well there's a lot of things that should have been able to have been done with magic. Yeah. 
Question two. What are the names of Ron and Hermione's children? Oh. Uh, how many do they have? Mm. How many all of them? How many all of them? 36. Gotcha to myself. They are decidedly not. not they are decidedly not 36. There are decidedly not 36. That, that <laughs> there are that. two. Okay. I will give you that. Okay. Um, okay. In that case, I think I've got it. I mean, I'm. I'm this is what I'm gonna go with. I don't You're feel like it? it's correct. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Hugo and Rose. No, I said Rose and Arthur. Hugo sounds way more right. It is indeed Rose and Hugo. Boom. Yeah. You yeah. know what's interesting that they went with Rose is you think Harry might have gone with like a flower name. True. Because that's sort of the trend in his family. It is. You know. Uh, yeah, because he's got like Lily, Lily, Petunia. Lily and Petunia. My headcanon is that Daisy Dursley is a witch. Uh, Dudley's daughter. No way. Dudley's daughter, Daisy Dursley. Right? Daisy Dursley. And then Dudley has to like go to Harry's house and be like, I need help. I don't know how to get onto the platform. <laughs> <laughs> I tried punching it. <laughs> and now for the first Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. Oh! This question was submitted by Allison Robbins and selected by patrons. Oh, Allison. In chapter 11 of The Half-Blood Prince, Hermione oh. reads an article in the Evening Prophet to Ron. Who was the subject of the article? Wow. HBP. Very Let specific. Chapter 11. Chapter 11. The Nightly Prophet. It's, it's impressive to me that the Daily Prophet is churning out two issues a day. Yeah. Yeah, the you know daily and I mean? the evening. Like, the wizarding population is just not that big. Right. It's like... Like, how much new things could have happened since this morning that you need to know about now? They also don't have the internet, so... They also, yeah, they need, like, constant updates. Like, they can't, <laughs> they can't like, text someone and just get, like, a, a message back. They're like, no, something could have... Something might have happened. Arguably, we have too many updates. Okay. May maybe we shouldn't even have morning and evening news. Why can't I think of this? This can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. Be that Why hard. would Ron care about the news? <laughs> exactly. That's what's question. That's what's so <laughs> vexing. <laughs> yes. No, that would that would really not make sense. I am I am all over the place. Half Blood Prince. Okay. Ha yeah. Okay. Okay. So what are we? What what's happening? In Half -Blood what's Prince happening anyway? You know, we got we got new new potions, master. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Why don't we turn? Why don't yeah. we? Why don't we? Why don't we? Three, mm -hmm. two. Harry said Arthur Weasley. It is, in fact, Arthur Weasley. What? Yes! No! Question four. What book did the Weasley twins give to Ron, which he used to try and win Hermione over? Oh, oh dang it. Oh, okay, I hate okay. this okay. But book. I, it's like the, yeah, I, I know exactly what it is. I know exactly the book. It's, it's like, yeah. I feel like I have the general, I know, like, yeah. proximity. The, I feel like the number is also going to... Bother me. The number feels irritating. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one. No. No. I'm oh, changing. Geez. I'm changing. Okay. Gosh. Okay. I changed. Ready? Three, I said two, one. twelve fail-safe ways to woo witches. Oh, man. The witch witches. I said. Seven, I almost wrote bewitch. You're seven, seven tips to bewitch a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ben's more. However, it is twelve fail-safe ways to charm witches. Oh. Uh, charm. I think that, I think Which, that. yeah. My I will cat. give it to you. Yes! One of the multiple choice is 10 ways to woo your witch, mm -hmm. which feels close. It does feel close. I got the but 12. But you got the 12, which I, I, I feel think, like gives you, I, I think that like gives you the there. point. I feel like it's there. I think it's there. I'll, I'll give that to you. Thanks, Kat. You're welcome. <sighs> Question five. Who did Hermione confund to help Ron become Gryffindor Keeper? Well, well, well. Ben, is, is it, it on the tippiest, tippiest of your tongue? If it isn't, ye old, super bad, <laughs> McLovin! <laughs> Close. Three, it's not. Three, one. McLaggin. McLaggin. Cormac who, McLaggin. Who has now been an answer in two, two in a row quizzes. Two quizzes in a row. I think we now officially know everything there is to know about <laughs> the character of McLaggin. Ben Probably. McLaggin. And now for the second Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. Last Good. <laughs> this question was submitted by Wesley Walker, Abby Schultz, and Amber Nowak, and selected by patrons. Question is, what spell does Hermione use on Ron that sends the birds to attack him? Uh, <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Let me see if I can brainwave this one. I'd go multiple choice on I'd it. I'd go multiple okay. choice on okay. it. All right. All right. Bring it all right. on. All right. All right. Sure. A, Avis. B, Ava Force. Mm. I think. C, Apugno. D, Lapafors. I got my guess. I've marked it down. Uh, oh man, it's definitely not this one. Yeah. Oh my. That's a terrible noise. That's an it's awful like, noise. Out. I don't like it at all. Me neither, I don't, I don't like, like it either. Uh, oh, no, thank you. Okay, I'm going here. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. C. A pug no. Indeed, it yes. is a pug. It sounded the meanest. It's spelled O P P U N G O. Oh, awful. A pug go? A pug no? A pug no. Not 100% sure. I feel like in the movie she says a pug no, but I could be wrong. Gotcha. Roz played the clip. A pug no. All right, question seven. In Order of the Phoenix, which Quidditch team was Ron about to play when Hermione gave him a good luck kiss on the cheek? Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Flufflepuff. Put Ravenclaw. It is Slytherin. Oh, no, it isn't. Is it? Man. That is, is that... what my I... quiz says. Okay. It cause... must be because that, that's his first game. Because does Harry still play in that one? I think I think the, what's throwing me here, I think in the movie, they're playing Slytherin when he has the Felix Felicis. Because don't like they get in a fight with Crab and Goyle, who are now beaters at the end of it, and then... Fred, George, and Harry all get like taken off the team from right. getting in a fight. Yeah. And then it's so, like, so I would have thought that, I guess, was that Ron's first game then? Oh, I was thinking Half Blood Prince is what I was thinking. Man, Man. that year. Foosh. Foosh. My B, y'all. My okay. B. Okay. Well, is we both got it wrong, so it doesn't matter. At least yeah. there's that. At least there's that. Alrighty, question eight. What lesson were Ron and Hermione in when she nearly asked him to Slughorn's party? I feel like it has to be this then. By process of elimination. Elimination. Illumination. I'm going with it. I have to. Oh no, is this wrong? Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Charms. I put transfiguration. I had charms. It is herbology. No! Oh man. Oh. Okay. Well. well man. Honestly, I don't even remember them going to herbology in yeah. the sixth I year. I know. What are they learning about in herbology in the sixth book? I got to reread these books again, man. Yeah, that's Lose the thing about this quiz, is it you takes don't... the range of, of all of the books. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, I see. Oh. Take a break. Hmm. Bye bye. Okay. See ya. Man, some bad news, you guys. On my last scenic route, I went all the way to Paris and somehow completely forgot to hide Jay's honey. But not to worry. Bomb, bomb, bomb! I was so excited when I thought about doing this. To make up for that missed opportunity, I'm gonna take you guys up on the roof and dang it, it's raining! It's not that much scenic about the rain. Anywho, now that that's done, I can tell you about today's sponsor, which coincidentally is also Honey, here's the thing. We all shop online, right? But do all of us have a Rolodex of coupon codes that we can bust out every single time we check out? Probably not. Do people still have Rolodexes? Do you even know what a Rolodex is? Probably. Fortunately, good news, there is Honey, which is basically like a Rolodex of all of the available internet codes on the entire in. I don't know why I'm really stuck on this Rolodex thing. It has all of the internet promo codes that there are. What I'm really saying though, is that Honey will automatically scour the entire internet for the best promo code for whichever website you're on and automatically apply the one with the most savings. Like here recently, for example, I was in the market for a new Rolodex. Look, they're handy, okay? Point is, I happened to cross one that I absolutely loved. I put it in my cart and Honey saved me 15%. And it's like I always say, never pay full price for a Rolodex. And the best part is, is that it's not just on your desktop. It works on your iPhone too. Simply install it on Safari, open it up, and you're saving on the go. <sighs> Dismount. If you don't already have Honey, you could just quite literally be missing out on free savings. And by installing it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this show at the same time. I would not recommend something that I do not personally use myself. So if you would like to check it out for yourself, head on over to joinhoney.com slash J versus B. Again, it's going to be joinhoney.com slash J versus B. Link is in the description down below. 
Ugh, did Ben go to Paris again? I, you know, I really just can't see, but that's okay because thankfully today's sponsor is Warby Parker. Now guys, if you're anything like me, you like to, well, see and be seen looking stylish. And Warby Parker is committed to exceptional vision care with eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, even eye exams, whether in store or online. And if you're not familiar with Warby Parker, they actually do this really cool at home try on program where you can go on the website and select five different frames for free and they'll send them to you and you can just try them on to see what they look like before you buy anything. And I was so happy they were sponsoring this video because I've used this process before and it's awesome and works great. Like these, the glasses I actually wear every day are already Warby Parker. That said, I do feel like maybe it's time for a bit of an update. So I am doing the at-home try process again, but they have not arrived yet. But that's okay because I also have this really cool virtual try-on app. So let me know which ones you think I should get. First up, we have the Fletcher, the Connolly. God, I hope these kind of look like this in person. I really like these. These I've been looking at because Ben seems like he's so much smarter when he's wearing the clear lenses and I gotta, I gotta keep up. And whenever I do this, I like to throw in a really bold pair because hey, you never know. Which one do you like? Let me know. I seriously do need a replacement though because I have three kids and they're constantly just like grabbing mine and getting them smudgy and throwing them a little floor and scratching them. It's a, it's a wonder I can see it all. The great news is whichever one I end up going with, I know it's going to be made with quality and style in mind. Plus it's super affordable. Glasses start at just $95 and that's with your prescription. So try on five free pairs of glasses at warbyparker.com slash jversb. Have yourself a glasses fashion show, get five pairs free shipped to your home with no obligation to buy. There is free shipping and a free return label that comes with it. One more time, that's warbyparker.com com slash J vs B for their free home try on program. Link is in the description down below. Now, seriously, where is he? Daryl! Welcome back, welcome back. How was your journey? Yeah, well, you know, if I can get into my chair. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Oh, good. A lot of stuff happened. Yeah, scenic. I feel like a changed person. Wow. <laughs> and now for the third Patreon quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Greg Lamont and selected by patrons. What do Ron and Hermione commonly say to each other after being acknowledged for a particularly impressive feat? Oh, I know what it's talking about, but I don't know. That's good, because before I read the answers, I did not. <laughs> okay, I know, I know, hang on. Think, Ben, think, you got this. I mean, I would go multiple choice because I think it will tell me the correct answer. I'm just fearful okay. it will tell you the correct answer as well. A, always the tone of surprise. B, why are you always surprised? C, you shouldn't be surprised. D, come on, you numpty. Okay, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Three, two, one. <laughs> always the tone of surprise. Always the tone of surprise I is knew. indeed correct. I, I knew that. I knew y'all were gonna get it as soon as you heard it. Yeah, it was yeah. A easy multiple choice. It, I was trying to think, I don't think I ever could have pulled it out of my head because it's a longer phrase mm -hmm. than I thought it was. And the multiple choice were also like very specific. So it would have been one of those things where it's like, if you got it kind of on the nose, but not quite there. Right, yeah, because yeah, I think it's in counted. Deathly Hallows where, cause like Tonks is like, Oh, he was amazing. Oh, yeah. And Hermione's like, he was? Yeah. yeah. Like, always yeah. the tone of surprise. Yeah, but I feel like he takes it poorly then. I think he takes it poorly that time. Question 10. In the book version of Deathly Hallows, what was Hermione holding right before she kissed Ron? Right? Yeah. Three, two, one. Basilisk fangs. Indeed, basilisk fangs is correct. Boom. Question 11. In Prisoner of Azkaban, what did Professor Snape call Hermione that caused Ron to defend her and end up in detention? Yeah, that is it. All right, uh, three, two, one. An insufferable know-it-all. An insufferable know-it-all. I have know-it-all. I don't know if that, I don't, I don't have insufferable. Um, I will give it to you because none of the other multiple choice include the phrase know-it-all. And for the fourth Patreon quiz master question of the game, this question was submitted by Maddie DeVuve and selected by patrons. Select all that apply. Where did Ron say he and Hermione had searched for Harry in Diagon Alley during Prisoner of Azkaban? Oh. A, Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor. B, the leaky cauldron. C, Flourish and Blots. D, quality Quidditch supplies. E, Ilop's Owl Emporium and F, Madame Malkins. 
Okay, this is what I'm going with. All right. Guess. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I went with basically A through D. I said C, D, and E. Uh, no. Unfortunately, it is B, C, and F. The Leaky Cauldron, Flourish and Blots, and Madame Malcolm's. Man, what? why would they think he was like, where do you think Harry went? Robe shopping? <laughs> I know, I was, I thought like, okay, so Flourish and Blots, like everybody needs books. Quidditch yeah. Supplies feels like an obvious Harry place to go. Yeah. Iops, he has Hedwig. Yeah. Um, question 13. Who had Hermione turned down as a date to the Yule Ball before Ron clumsily asked her? Who had she already turned down? Oh yeah, I got this one, I know it. Question is, do you think Snape had to teach the Slytherins how to dance the same way McGonagall had to teach the Gryffindors how to dance, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, Mr. That Malfoy. would be amusing. He has <laughs> won the Charming Smile Award, at least once. <laughs> There's no doubt. It doesn't feel right, but. Give me the old thinkaroo. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Neville Long Buttocks. It is. <laughs> Is indeed now a long bottom. Excellent. And now for the final Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. Kat, can I just say that I think that your enthusiasm has done nothing but gotten better with, <laughs> with each one. Thank each you, question. I appreciate it. This question was submitted by SJKIM and selected by patrons. What does Ron think Hermione's Bogart will be after the lesson? The answer is fairly specific. Okay, 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 I think I got it. I think it does. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I have a guess. It feels like it could be accurate. I also could just be making it up entirely. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Like homework mark nine out of 10. I said Professor McGonagall telling her that she failed all of her exams. Um, I'm gonna give it to Jay. It's a test that she only got nine out of 10 on. Okay. But the, I think the nine out of 10 is what matters. There is another option that says Mon McGonagall saying that she failed. That, that is, is the incorrect. actual bog art in the exam. Like Ron jokes, it'll be this. And then it actually ends up being very close to that. Okay. That's a bummer. That is a That's bummer. That's a bummer. That's a hard loss. That's a hard <laughs> loss point. I was like, I knew something. Knew something, you got it. You were there. You were very close. All right, question 15, our last question. When Malfoy called Hermione a mudblood, Ron defended her and his wand backfired. What did he end up vomiting? Y'all got this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some soft ball right, for the last ready? one. Yep. Three, two, one. Kelpies. <laughs> Slugs. Slugs I is. Last time I said, I said Kelpies. You did, you used like a throwback. Riley, play the throwback. Three, two, a Kelpie. Phoenix. Oh, I'm just kidding, I put Phoenix down. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, Phoenix. Kelpie. See what I did there? Oh, uh, still funny. funny. <laughs> still funny. <laughs> Slugs is the correct answer. Yeah. All right. It's really surprising he wasn't invited to be a part of the slug club. <laughs> After all that. He's basically a slug enthusiast. Basically a founder. <laughs> like, does he even know? Oh, man. All righty. Are slugs anything but living snot? <laughs> Hard to believe anything else. What are you, a slug truther now? <laughs> And now I want to give a huge thank you to the quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Especially all of our quiz masters who came up with and voted upon all the quiz master questions in today's episode. Thank you all so much, especially you and you and just, you. Just remember and that you, you are our favorite. You, if you ask you. us a question, and we can you. actually answer. <laughs> oh, those, those, I just love it when I it love happens. it when we get the right answer. It's the best. It it's is. almost the whole point of it all. If you would like to become a quiz master, you could do so by heading over to patreon.com com slash super carlin brothers <laughs> also on patreon these shirts both of them that we're wearing these are from our exclusive t-shirt club jay has the waddy wassy which waddy is wassy. so fitting for jay versus ben because it was like one of the most mind blown bl mind blown moments i've ever had with his memory i was pretty impressed with myself <laughs> you ought to be oh thank you thank well, you and mine is the, uh, yeah, dark, the dark lord, lord health, health club, club. Yeah. so you know get your reps in with <laughs> Get your mall walk in laps in. You have knocked that over like 17 <laughs> times. I have no shock you that. <laughs> was that on purpose? It was, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> you 
you should have laid down for the rest of the video. <laughs> okay. Guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and let us know in the towel section down below, how'd you do? Did you beat us? I'm sure you did. If you want some more J vs. Ben Harry Potter action, you can check out our golden trio quiz right here, which is just a lot like today's, except also Harry was there too, and he's part of the questions. So you should check that one out if you want. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.